Sorry, we're closed. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Episode 86 of Sorry We're Closed. And guys, let me tell you what we got in the docket today. I am just pulling shit out of my ass at this point uh, and, and doing things. And I'm just trying to try new things that make the, 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 the podcast a little more fun for myself, a little more fun for you guys. Uh, so today, we're obviously, yesterday was Mother's Day. I hope everyone enjoyed a nice Mother's Day with their family and friends and obviously their mothers and grandmothers and all of that. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little story about my mother and something that had happened uh, during my baseball career, uh, which I'm sure now that she's listening to this is terrified to hear. But sorry, it's happening. Uh, and then I'm going to do a nice little segment called Would You Rather. I, I, it was one of the most fun games that we all played in the bullpen when we were either in the minor leagues or the big leagues. Kind of to pass the time because as a bullpen guy, you don't play till later in the game. You kind of get... Uh, you kind of get bored, and it's the same monotonous over and over and over again. So you play games, and you kind of figure it out. Uh, so I haven't seen the questions ahead of time. I don't know exactly what they're going to be. I don't even know if they're going to be good. But we're going to go into it, into a nice little Would You Rather segment. Uh, you guys can play along at home as you're listening to this. Uh, and tell me if you think I'm right, think I'm wrong, what have you. But first off, let's talk about the, the story from my, my beautiful mother. Back in 2008, 2009, I was going through the draft process for the first time. Uh, there really were only two teams that were actually interested in me, the Milwaukee Brewers and the Minnesota Twins. I would later go on to get drafted by the Minnesota Twins in the 28th round. And I want you to keep that in your mind, the round that I got drafted. 28th round, 852nd overall. That's when I got drafted. Keep that in the back of your mind for this story. So a lot of times, and both the Twins and the Brewers did this, they come to your house and they kind of talk, you, talk to you. They want to get a gauge of exactly what you're looking to sign for. Uh, they want to like, kind of walk you through the, the process of uh, going through a draft. Specifically, a guy like myself in high school where I wasn't going to be like a really high-end pick. I wasn't going to be a first, top three rounder. I wasn't even probably be a top ten rounder. Um, so you don't really have an advisor or anyone that's going to help you through the process. It's not worth it to them. So kind of just flying by the seat of our pants and, and taking the best guesses we can take at what will be a good decision for us and in my career. So they come, they sit down. A guy by the name of, the, of Brian Sankey, a scout from the Milwaukee Brewers, came and sat down with us in our in my parents' house, or my house, my, the house I grew up in. And I can still picture it. I can picture the time. It was, you know, an, a beautiful afternoon. Uh, I remember him sitting. There was a couch. Me, my mother, and father sat on one couch. He sat in the other. And we kind of just talked about the process a little bit. Then we start diving into some more of the, more of the real things. Uh, how much would I sign for? Uh, how committed am I to going to Monmouth? Things like that. Me and my dad had come to a conclusion that we thought $100,000 signing bonus was the right number for us to leave to go and play professional baseball. Looking back, terrible, terrible decision. When you go through the minor leagues, you realize that it is that is when you really realize how much of a business it is. People say you don't really realize it until big leagues. It's, it's completely and utterly wrong. When you get drafted in the first round, which I would later do, do at Monmouth, you are given priority in almost anything. Um, you don't have to perform as well as some of the other guys have to perform to get promoted. I'll get promoted, promoted before other people because I got signed for a million dollars and we have a lot invested in me. I'm the guy the team wants to get to the big leagues. Everyone else is hoping, okay, it'd be great if they did, but it, it is whatever. I'm the guy they want to get to the big leagues and sometimes almost need them to get to the big leagues. Um, so $100,000 is not nearly enough in my book. And if I have kids and, and you know, God bless, they end up getting drafted, um, especially out of high school, uh, the number changes dramatically from when I decided what my number was with my dad to comparison to what I would do with my kids. And now, granted, ne neither me and my dad had any experience. So we're just kind of guessing. But we did the best that we could with the information we had. But thank God it didn't happen. So Brian's kind of talking to us about this. We're talking about the number, blah, 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 blah. And he, as a, a well-respectful a gentleman, asks everyone in the room what they think their number was. My mother decides it gets to her. I think I actually started with her. And she didn't really have like a number in her head. But she decided to come out with, well, what's Bryce Harper signing for? And literally me, my dad, and Brian burst out into laughter. Because again, what I told you guys to remember at the beginning of the story 
was I was a 28th round draft pick. Now, we didn't know that, but we knew kind of the ballpark that I wasn't going to be an early round draft pick. 28th round draft pick, 852nd overall. And my mother wanted Bryce Harper money in order to go to play professional baseball. Keep in mind, Bryce Harper signed a, a record-breaking deal uh, out of the out of the draft. Like, all of those things. We all know what he did. Like, and how big of a prospect that guy was. The guy was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated for kids. He was on the cover of everything. Uh, hitting, you know, 500-foot home runs at Las Vegas. It was outrageous what this guy was doing. And sure enough, my mother, uh, the protective Staten Island-born raised mother, uh, wanted to make sure that I also got my $8 million dollars uh, from the Milwaukee Brewers in the 28th round uh, before signing and going pro. So uh, that is the, one of the, I have, I mean, believe me, I have ample stories about my mother, but this is one, one of my favorites uh, when talking specifically about my baseball career and how it transpired, uh, seeing uh, exactly what, and I'm sure almost every mother thinks it um, when they're taking their kid through the draft, um, that they want just as much money as this other kid. And it just doesn't work like that. But it was it provided for a funny story now let's say oh 12 years later still is a funny story and something i still talk about and make fun of my mother for so again happy mother's day i hope everyone had a phenomenal mother's day all you mothers out there grandmothers out there hope you all had a great time uh, and enjoyed a nice day i think it's going to be a very nice day here in, in uh, new jersey and i hope you all got great weather elsewhere now into the first ever live segment of would you rather Question number one. Would you rather the aliens that make first contact be robotic or organic? Now, keep in mind, guys, shout out to conversationstartersworld.com because that's where I'm getting these. So I guess it's, uh, you know, do I want them to be almost human-like or robotic? I think this is one of the worst questions I had to start out with because I'm not prepared to talk about extraterrestrials and aliens. However... I would have to say I'd want them to be organic. I don't really want robotic. It's, I feel like it's not as fun. I'm, and I'm, and I know that they have a little side blurb here, is which would, which would be less likely to wipe us off the face of the planet. I am going to take a step further here that they're not going to want to wipe us off the face of the planet and that I would prefer things that could actually talk to me and like interact rather than just be robotic and, and kind of – you know, no real thought process behind what they're doing, uh, maybe controlled by organic aliens elsewhere. But yeah, I feel like I would rather organic, although if you're if human interaction is any testimony or testament to what will be, it'll probably be robotic, considering when we go explore um, places, we oftentimes send robots first, uh, before we ever send uh, humans out there. So I would prefer prefer organic. Um, I feel like that's the obvious choice, but I, you know, with would you rather, it's almost always feel like you're the obvious choice and everyone else is an idiot. So, question number two, though, moving on, guys, we're not gonna spend a lot of time. We're gonna move on. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? There is only one answer to this, and it is lose the ability to read. I could give two shits about reading. Someone can come tell me what it was supposed to be read. And I understand someone can come speak for you, but I can, I, I am a host of a podcast and I do the podcast by myself. If there's any doubt in your mind or questions of what, which one I would choose here, you lying to yourself. Either that or you've never listened to the podcast or don't realize I do a podcast. I don't know what it is, but you'd be lying to yourself if you thought that I would choose anything else. Question number three, would you rather have a golden voice or a silver tongue? The fuck's a golden voice? Silver tongue. I guess your your tongue would be so. I, am I? Are we talking about you know your voice is so golden it gets you sing well or something? I have I have no. Or maybe when you speak, gold pops out. I really have no idea. The little. Yeah, I have no idea what this means. I'm gonna go with golden voice. I don't want a silver tongue. It'd be extraordinarily heavy, uh, and I doubt I'd be able to taste much. So. I'm out on silver tongue. We're going to go golden voice. I'm not 100% sure why yet, uh, but we're going to go with golden voice for the, for the la- I just don't know what a golden voice is, but I definitely don't want a silver tongue. So moving on. Would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? I feel like this is obvious too. It, you'd obviously want to be covered in fur. You wouldn't want, you know, your slimy scales 
all that crap. No, I like no one comes and pets fish unless you're a wacko. And one thousand per one thousand percent covered in fur. You see hairy guys all the time. I can do that. I'm not. I can't be going around with with you know fin scales on me and fins and be like a whole you know whole thing. That can't happen. Under no great conversation starter. And not this question, but great conversations are to show up and you're covered in scales. But no, I'm out on scales. Only fur. If you choose anything else, you're a nutbag. Last question. Question number five. Would you rather be in jail for a year or lose a year off your life? This is by far the question, the best question they have given so far. Now, I may be a big dude and at times may come off a little tough to some of my customers, but I am the least tough person you will ever meet in your, well, maybe not ever meet in your entire life. I'm, I'm not a fighter by any means. I would do fine in jail, but not a, I think you need to define what jail, like, am I going to maximum security place or am I going to just like a place where like, you know, people who rob people or, you know, missed, you know, not big crimes are going towards going to, I think, I think I would rather lose a year of my life. What am I, I understand you might be like, oh, you'll gain life lessons in jail. Yeah, but I also might have an enormous man want me to be his boyfriend. Like, I might get shanked. I don't know what happens in jail. I can't, I can't be that guy. I can't do that. And go, oh, you appreciate life more. No. Am I guaranteed to go come out of jail alive? Because if that's not a guarantee, I mean, this is a no-brainer. I would rather blink my eyes and I'd be 31 right now than go to jail tomorrow and have to wait until 31 to get out. There's just no question about it. No question about it. Case closed. Easy decision. So to recap here, the first ever, would you rather? I'd rather lose a year of my life than spend a year in jail. I'd rather be covered in fur than to be covered in scales. That's stupid. I'd rather a golden voice than a silver tongue strictly because... I'm not 100% sure what a golden voice is, but I definitely wouldn't want a silver tongue. I'd rather lose the ability to read without doubt rather than lose the ability to speak. And that's that was an e- as easy as it gets. And I'd rather organic aliens come rather than over, over robotic aliens. Although robotic seems the most likely to happen. So, guys, that was the first ever Would You Rather. I think I'm going to do that a whole lot more because I really enjoy it. Um, it gives me something to talk about because it's not always something to talk about. The only thing I really saw in the news that I really kind of was interested in this week was about David Dobrik. And I didn't really want to talk about David Dobrik. I am not a huge into the gossip stuff and, and talking about, you know, what he did about some guy, some guy, just so you guys know, he was swinging some guy, the guy, he went too fast and the guy like almost died or something like that. So now everyone's trying to cancel him again. Not really my thing to talk about. Um, I'd much rather, um, talk about this stuff. So. Guys, I hope you had a phenomenal weekend. I hope you had a phenomenal Mother's Day. Uh, I hope the Red Sox pick it up here a little bit lately. I have not given you an update on the Red Sox because it's frankly been not. They still have the best record in baseball somehow, but they haven't been playing great. So hopefully they pick it up and they don't make this their brand of baseball all year because they won't be able to hold on to a lead in the American League, especially with the way the Yankees are coming alive here uh, for much longer if they don't uh, pick up the, the brand of baseball they're playing. So, guys, Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you have a phenomenal week. And until next time, I'll see you at the bar. Thank you so much for listening to the Sorry We're Closed podcast. Go subscribe to our email chain over at thepatlight.com and follow us on all social media. Until next time, guys, I'll see you at the bar. Sorry, we're closed.